all right so right here i'm just cutting up the bureaus um peeling them i use a peeler but i you can also just cut them but when i cut them it just i always cut too much so the peeler it takes longer but it's effective it does the job I'm sorry, I've been cutting these for a while, but you guys can skip past these to the next step if you don't want to watch me peel bureau bananas, so yeah. All right, y'all, we're finally done peeling the beer banana. So what I'm doing now is cutting them up and I'm going to put them in a pot and make sure that they're in spring water. You want to use spring water when you're cooking. Um, put them in the pot. Oops, there goes that one. Okay, so put them in the pot. Um, cover it all in spring water. Make sure there's like an inch or, two, or inch and a half above the actual bananas so that all of them are submerged in the water. And then boil them on medium high heat and let them do that job so we're gonna do the same thing with the butternut squash so we're gonna cut it the squash was a little hard to cut for me so when you guys cut this make sure you're cutting it in like a rocking motion and what I do is I peel my peeler I peel the outside once again because when I do use the knife it just doesn't get the job done as well Okay, so here I am cutting up um, the onions for the butternut squash. And basically why I do that is so when that when I, the butternut squash and the onions are done boiling together, um, once they're blended in together with the spring water that they're already boiling in, it just makes it like a nice sauce. And plus it adds flavor. I haven't gone yet. Oh. All right, so we're going to cut up these mushrooms. Make sure that you guys take the stem um, off the mushrooms and also please make make sure maybe <laughs> please make sure that you're washing your mushrooms before you cook them i'll say that again wash your mushrooms before you cook them and before you prepare them so basically what i'm doing here is cutting the stems off and putting them in a pot i already had walnuts um already pulsed so you'll see me when i add all right i don't have a no one to record me but here's the seasonings that i'm gonna use oregano 
uh, onion powder, sea salt, anano powder, cayenne powder is optional, um, cilantro, and thyme. I already um, crushed up my walnuts and they're already seasoned, but I'm going to pour them in here. in there these are walnuts seasoned already and I just cut up some fresh Bella uh, mushrooms so we're gonna puree these well not puree we're gonna pulse these together just because I love this walnuts mushroom mixture now I'm not gonna show all of this because I have a video on my page already on how I make this mixture so if you're interested in exactly how I make this mixture and how I prepare my walnuts, um, I have a video up on that right now. So let me go ahead and pulse these and I'll be right back. All right, I got my butternut squash and my onions here. I'm gonna let them boil medium high heat. I got my bureaus here. I'm gonna let these boil medium high heat. This is not <laughs> on anything. I'm gonna back to the pan. We're gonna graze that so we can saute our onions and peppers. We're gonna let that get hot. I put it on a, a low to medium heat. And let's get it popping. So we're gonna wait for this to get hot. And we're gonna add our peppers and our onions. And yeah. All right, I think they're ready for Sauteing. Looks like it is. Just add our onions and add our bell peppers. Go ahead and add some more because um I love, 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 love bell peppers. So let's get these cooking. A couple more. Alright, so we're gonna let these cook. Let them cook down. Y'all know how we do. Let these bad boys cook down a little bit. And when they're done, we're going to add our walnut and mushroom mixture. And get it popping. Checking on our squash. And our bananas. Not quite done yet. The meat will probably be done first. But that's okay. Alright. Mmm. Completely optional, but I like to squeeze some limes. And I usually do about one whole lime, so two halves. All right, this is done. So we're basically putting it all in here. All of it. Stir it. All right, let's stir it. All right, so we're gonna add our mixture in here and we're gonna let it cook, simmer on low. Uh, make sure you stir it about every minute or so. We'll put it a little above low. Um, it's gonna thicken up and this is gonna be your cheese. I went ahead and seasoned it with um, a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of onions, onion powder, I'm sorry, <laughs> a teaspoon of onion powder, um, a teaspoon of, I could not stop eating this. The lime just gives it that extra, that extra zing, like, I don't know how to explain it, it's so freaking good. I wish you guys can taste it through the phone. All right, you guys, so the bananas are done cooking boiling whatever um i'm gonna drain them drain the water out of them just so you can see what they look like right now the water um basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drain the water i'm gonna season it um the seasonings are gonna be below but it's gonna be one teaspoon of oregano one teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of sea salt one teaspoon of basil and one teaspoon of anato powder so we'll be right back. All right, so this is how it's gonna look after you're done mashing the beer bananas. 
So go ahead and season them. So after you've done this, go ahead and mash them up again and let them cool down so that you, once they're done cooling down, you can form them into the cups. So go ahead and redo this. So this is definitely why you need your... <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys that there's... <laughs> okay, so these are the bureaus. They're done, um, they're done cooling. So what I do is get a, just pick it up in my hand like this, make a ball, it's gonna look like this. Okay, make a ball, nothing crazy. While you're making these balls, make sure that you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna cook these, we're gonna cook these first, 350 degrees. So what you're gonna do, make balls. And just keep making them until, you know, the bureaus are all gone. Nothing crazy. And I'm going to show y'all how we make them a cup. Alright, so I didn't realize that my TV was so loud. So I apologize about that. But here, all you have to do is mold Okay, one, you already made the balls, so now you have to mold the balls. Stick your finger in them, whatever, however you else want to do them. Just mold cups. It's not, it's super easy, I promise you. So they're out the oven and I'm taking my little garlic mixture and I'm brushing it on inside. This is not really garlic. This is alkaline. Um, I have the recipe on my page actually. It's just um, onion powder, dill. So I'm just going to flip these over so I can get the uh, back end of it. But it's onion powder, dill, uh, grapeseed oil, uh, ginger. So flip these over. Just some more garlic. You know, just coat it lightly. Light coat. Nothing crazy. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Alright, so what we're going to do after we coat these they looking real good too after we coat these we're gonna flip them back over we're gonna add our meat and we're gonna add our butternut squash and we're gonna put them back in the oven for two to three minutes two to three minutes minutes <laughs> two to three minutes so some of them have fresh tomatoes on them but i just wanted y'all to see up close how bomb these look some of them have fresh tomatoes on top, nothing crazy. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do with these is squeeze this on top. Um, probably have to get it off camera, but you guys know what I'm doing, so. Actually, 